Sandy Monroe is never shy about making controversial claims, and a large part of what makes him such a remarkable speaker is the directness of his delivery. Recently, the EV News website E4 Electric invited Sandy into the program to talk about electric vehicle manufacturers in China. As is typical of Sandy, he did not disappoint. Hey everyone, join me as we examine what Sandy Monroe warned about a Chinese EV dominating the entire car industry. Before we get to it, make sure to smash the like button. Monroe doesn't waste any time getting right into a rant against the legacy OEMs and their unwillingness to handle the electrification tidal wave that is coming to wipe them away. He stated that it wasn't until very recently that automakers in the United States understood that they needed to take electric vehicles seriously. And now those manufacturers are working very hard to catch up. There's a chance it's too late. Sandy Monroe was quoted as saying, I think the Chinese are going to come in and they are going to kick some real ass. It's all going to be because of the executives at the large auto companies sat on their hands, believing that the future is simply a pale echo of the past. Sandy brings up the fact that Japanese automakers produced low-quality vehicles in the 1970s. However, by the 1980s, they had nearly monopolized the market for compact automobiles. Then as the 1990s rolled around, they began introducing premium brands like Lexus, Infiniti, and Acura. They were sweeping the floor with existing luxury brands such as Cadillac, Lincoln, and Mercedes-Benz. He stated, You can't possibly win when you have folks at the top of the house expecting that somehow the Chinese are going to give us some Chinese junk. You can't possibly win. That is in no way going to be how things turn out. Sandy is confident that we will witness the same invasion of Chinese electric vehicles that we have seen with the other types of electric cars as they grow across Europe and North America. In addition, he discusses the prospect of imposing tariffs and the likelihood of engaging in protectionism to stem the flow of electric vehicles manufactured in China. Taking the role of the adversary, Guberman posed the question to Monroe, If Chinese automobiles are so fantastic, why haven't they already taken over the auto industry in Europe and the United States? Sander retorts by stating that they won't attempt to go head-to-head -head with internal combustion engine automobiles manufactured by established manufacturers. They are aware that they won't be able to win. Instead, they will focus their attention on the electric car market it is one of the only areas in which traditional automakers have not yet shown considerable interest in the electrification of their products. Sandy is an intelligent person. He is also very wealthy. And as a result, he purchased a crossover that was manufactured in China and evaluated it. Earlier this year, he purchased a Chinese-made electric car for his own use. Naturally, he evaluated it and shared his thoughts on the vehicle's build quality, design choices, and the valuable features of the Skywell. It is manufactured by Imperium and distributed in the United States by a firm by the same name. Similar models are sold by Skywell in other countries owned by the same firm. After seeing the vehicle in question at the Los Angeles Auto Show, Monroe decided to purchase it without first putting it through its spaces behind the wheel. As Sandy Monroe commented, this vehicle is the type of car I can purchase on the spot. It is first imported to the US where it is processed via customs and then it is given to the person who owns the business. Distribution in the United States is done through Canada. It is not significantly more complicated than going to the nearest dealer. But there is a slight increase in complexity. Not only is the firm interested in expanding through direct sales, but it is also searching for dealers in the United States. This indicates that the corporation's interest in expanding comes from a business perspective. Unfortunately, Sandy Monroe has not mentioned how much he paid for the Skywell, but we did learn that the firm was collecting deposits of $100 to purchase its electric vehicles. The firm that sells these autos has its headquarters in Los Angeles and it intends to provide electric automobiles that were manufactured in the United States. However, they are not expected to be available for sale until the fourth quarter of 2022. It is important to note that Sandy Monroe had expressed excitement over several electric vehicles, including this one. 
In two of his podcasts, this is emphasized by the company that sells the cars. It is also worth noting that this excitement was shared by the company that sells these vehicles. They claim that they have had much exposure in the media. This is the conclusion that Sandy Monroe came to after inspecting the vehicle. There is now another company that competes with Tesla. Even though they have to be vigilant, Sandy insists that they are still the ones in the lead. Sandy Monroe was recently interviewed on YouTube and discussed the threat Chinese EV manufacturers pose to the automobile market in the United States. According to Monroe, Chinese automakers want a slice of the tens of millions of automobiles sold yearly in the United States. They want to do so as soon as possible. According to Monroe, the current scenario is similar to the Japanese invasion of the American automotive industry in the 1980s. During that time, Japanese manufacturers entered the market with cheaper offerings. As a result, they took a significant amount of market share away from the American car manufacturers. Monroe has worked with both big US automakers and big Chinese automakers. He says that the Chinese are only interested in making all electric cars with a European build quality and that this will be their primary weapon against US automakers. In addition, the United States cannot compete with China's level of volume manufacturing compared to the United States. China is expected to generate about 24 million units in 2021. The United States would be lucky to reach anywhere near 14 million units. Because of the way things are going in the world, most people who are in the market for new automobiles today are looking for vehicles that are affordable, dependable, and most importantly, kind to the environment. Traditional car makers looking at 10 to 15 years to migrate to all electric vehicles can not compete with Chinese firms that provide electric cars with the same performance and safety. According to Monroe, Tesla is still the only automaker in the United States with a chance of fending off the impending invasions. This corporation already has a considerable advantage over all other brands in the United States. They also work tirelessly to develop new products to maintain and expand that advantage. For instance, Monroe cited how Tesla uses smaller semiconductors, 5mm or smaller, from suppliers in Taiwan. They can withstand a global shortage, while traditional automakers continue to rely on 10mm chips, which are in short supply and produced in Indonesia and Malaysia, known as chip graveyards. The Tesla Model 3 is the safest automobile in the world and has already established itself as a top seller in Europe and the United States. It also frequently provides Chinese automakers the most challenging competition on their own home turf in China. Tesla has emerged as a prominent player in the electric vehicle industry despite the obstacles it has had in the supply chain and the rivalry it has faced over the past several years. However, to preserve its position, the corporation must continue to exercise extreme caution. So would you ever consider purchasing an electric vehicle made by a Chinese company? If not, then why not? Please share your opinions with me in the comment box located below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Before you exit this video, make sure to like and subscribe and click that notification bell to trigger YouTube's algorithm and see more of our videos on your homepage. Thanks for watching and see you next time.